begin to eat the the dust 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 the I thought you all might begin your tour here. <laughs> Burley Heads was like, you know, basically the best trip I've ever went on. Had all my friends, you know, had uh, people I, I like to be around all the time. Like people like Kaipo and Aquila, Andy, and just all the boys, you know. and. Uh, we had really good waves and allowed us to do pretty rad stuff, I think, and just had a lot of fun. It was good. sit on the edge of life and really feel power, you just sit at the box. Good to travel, definitely. Learn a lot. Better than any school, more than any school could teach you. This was the event that we'd all talked about, we'd all waited for. The thing that Derek Donner and Larry and I talked about, this day is going to come. This day, a day that goes bigger than we've ever been able to get before because now we have access to these giant waves. I've always believed that Log Cabins was the best big wave in the world, the best monster wave in the world. It's funny because I've been serving since I was five years old and um, I've been serving every day since then and um, it's weird. It, it's like one of the only things in life that you really, really can't master no matter how much you serve or who you are, how much talent you're born with or how fast you get better. You really can't conquer it and you can't master it. You, I mean, you can become good, but you, like, you're always like learning lessons and taking beatings and, and there's always a challenge no matter what. And, and I think that's what is really special about serving for me. It's allowed a lot of people to really uh, fulfill their life, fulfill their dreams, and to be able to have this beautiful lifestyle and this relationship with the ocean. And, and you know, I think it's been, it's, it's kind of an enlightening time of your life. So I'm, a, I'm, I'm one of the faithful. <laughs> I think the Kelly Slater that I know is a pretty freaking cool Kelly Slater. And he just so happens to surf pretty freaking damn good too. Of course, I learn things from surfing every day, every time I surf with them. I'm amazed that I and I, you know, I'm taking notes just like the rest of the world. And what makes surfing special to me is easy, is because the ocean is where I belong, and surfing is the best way to express myself, no matter what. If I had anything to do in the world, if I wanted to show somebody my, my best talent, my best feature, my best, my best purpose, that would be surfing. I was telling somebody else that, well, huh, that's the stuff I used to try to draw on my folder at school. I'd get the, you know, tr try to get that thing where the, where you make the, the the two go like that and then make a little dark spot down down into the corner so it was super hollow and then the foam was like four times the side of the wave so you could show that the wave was super powerful. 
cartoony, like Rick Griffin stuff, you know, like Maynard and the Rat, you know, just, you know, I mean, anyway, you just talk themselves into going over a ledge and knows this, ex knows the way that you talk to yourself and that, all right, I'm going, you know, you know, and you're going, go on, you know, it's just like you're pitting yourself against, I mean, you know, you could, you could die. I mean, you really could die. So what log happens is it gets that full definition that you need in a wave to get the maximum speed to make the distance. You know, if you just really have a great outlook wherever you are, even if you are homesick, you can still have a really great time. It kind of sounds hippie-ish. I'm not into health food or anything. I just really like it. I don't know, I think this last winter pretty much Kawhi's ruled and dominated the North Shore. Just guys like Braden and Pipe and Kai Garcia and all the boys and Chavo out there, it's been insane. You're all watching from the channel going, oh! I mean, so thick, so much raw power. And uh, I think that's what our generation is bringing right now, you know? It's not the just three maneuvers to the beach, it's we're going to fly three maneuvers to the beach. <laughs> Your ambition is just to be a better human being. It's the best ambition there is. It's number one. I'm Larry Bertelman. I'm a Raspberry Bertelman right here. Raspberryman. 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 It's all Raspberryman. I gotta get my single fan, raspberry single fan. I got fan. it, I got it for you. you do? That's the sickest single fan ever. Let's do it. It's all Today about be pipeline. perfect. Today be perfect. How big is it? Elon, we'll be perfect. Oh, oh, I could have been a VLAN. I can't believe I didn't bring my space today. <sighs> Killing it. We've been doing dropping <laughs> curves like this. Yeah. That's my fucking, that's the nation. Who are you going to thank? Uh, how do you thank them? Okay. Like to, you know, thank the Polish nation. We're going to do a thing. It's the Hawaiian nation versus the Polish nation. <laughs> the Polish nation. The Polish TV yeah. versus Hawaiian TV. The Hawaiian She's nation like didn't help me out. So I help out the Hawaiian nation. <laughs> 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 As a dental. One, two nations. Under the eye It's all good. Just go. As a dental. All that lunch I just was thinking you my lunch.
Matches his skin color. Uh, it's all about Razzle Bertelman. 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 That day at the bottom, that, bit, that place is basically to the edge. You want to sit on the edge of life and really feel power, you just sit at the box. That place is so rad. It's just basically the ocean folding over on a piece of the o like reef out in the middle of the, the ocean. You just got to sit behind it. Everyone thinks you got to sit on the, the peak and catch the wave from the top, and really you got to be behind it because you can't drop into a thick piece of water like that. You got to be behind it, it's like almost backdooring it to really even get in the barrel because it's such a powerful wave. It'll just Shove you right through, and another nice. Seen the boys pulling in that day pretty deep, and just pushed me that much harder. Made me want to go deeper. Pretty much, um, when I first got out, I broke my board, and I came back out, and all the boys were out, and I saw first wave paddled out. I saw Dicko, Dave, just get the sickest whirl, just spit out, then creamed on him. Dude. He came out just so stoked, and just from then on, it was just like full-on happy hour. All the boys, every way, just exchanging. Being just the best barrels, high fiving, just laughing, coming out trying airs, just paddling back out, talking about their next wave they're gonna catch and what they're gonna try and stuff. And it was just pretty much one of the raddest sessions I ever had. Shane Beshin was just pulling in super. They're riding small boards, just sitting really far inside. And Wardo was just doing these rad hand drives in the barrel and stuff in front of me, just super stylish and stuff. And Gavin. And, just getting super deep and stuff and just everyone was going off as all the boys it was like one of the raddest sessions I had this year.
like a junkie, but he acts like the king. I seen that face before, looking at me. He said sometimes I can relate to everyone I meet, but I keep on trying. So much bad news, I can't if I fail, baby. Forget about the negative, that's my creed. But deep down in his fucked up head, it makes his mind bleed. Many signs, but he still don't know where to go. Right when he thinks he does, he gets up lost again. But he keeps on trying, cause he's gonna win the race he's in. Burley was good, Snapper was good, Kiro was good, everywhere was really fun. I mean, it was my backside, I, I love surfing backside, probably more than I like surfing frontside. And uh, we got good waves, and we had a lot of fun kind of just going off and challenging and trying to push the limits. I would say my surfing and Andy surfing together in a lineup, surfing together. <laughs> No, like a word, maybe havoc. <laughs> That's me and Andy. We're just havoc in the water every time, just going off on each other, feeding off each other, pushing each other, and just get crazy and hurt or hurt ourselves every time. Surfing with Kalaya is insane. That's uh, one of the best parts of the trip. Just being around him, so rad because he's so amped all the time, and I'm pretty amped too. But that guy is like ten times amped more than me. And just surf with him every day and stuff is just so rad because you see him trying so hard and just ripping all the time and this makes you try harder and stuff. He's like a rapper with offbeat, offbeat rhymes. That's what he's like. That's that's how I would describe him. That's when I when I watch his surfing, it seems like you think he's flowing one way, all of a sudden he'll like just change the beat and go up somewhere else, just go and do a huge straight up or do a floater and just cut off in between and just do a big air out of it, you know? Are just under lip snaps when you think he's gonna do a cutback. And that's how I best describe it. It's kind of like a type of off beat type of surfing. It's pretty, pretty exciting. <laughs>
smash and step to the front If you wanna see the action Glance at the mic, should I rock the style? Ooh. It's been a long time since I got my wild Sometimes I feel lost in the source When it comes down to who's the boss Am I being too soft? Meaning for your love and your special attention Trying to get you to look in my direction Hey, you all straight for the cake in your oven Got to see me to get the good love And want to get the chance to sex and romance You're on the dance floor, yeah, you want more I wish your girlfriends on the weekend I give you all types of freedom Now you tell me you're leaving Girl, get a grip, cause I'm hitting all angles You know how the game goes, you're gonna feel shameful It's good hanging out with him, I like surfing and pushes my surf and we just go out there and just, he'll do something huge and bust and then I'll catch the next wave and just try to go huge too and go bigger than he did and that's just pretty much what we do. That's how we push our surf and surf with him. It's just like every day I go out, it's pushing my surf. Take a look, split from the teams when you thought you got a grip. You treat you lost steam. Kick starts game, but you can't find step. And your place is stuck with a bit more pep. A little less rep, seek your well kept. Hate the way you lead every night you slept. Heard it all before, can't believe it came true. Hard to see. I know that I don't understand the way my feelings roll. I've got to.
Something evolving Whatever may come The world keeps revolving They say the next big thing is here That the revolution's near But to me it seems quite clear That it's all just a little bit of history repeating I think Kelly's been the most incredible influence on, on world surfing um, because he's such a great role model and he's such so inspirational and and he's taken it to all new levels in every department and every facet of his surfing is is very much an all-round surfer and I know the kids that I work with they they idolise him but for a good reason and they've really got to aim high to get anywhere near where he's got to so I think it's a very healthy progressive thing that's happening at the moment and. Um, you know, it's going to be exciting in the next five years to see exactly where surfing does go. Kelly Slater, I think, is the uh, best surfer ever in the history of the world. I know he wouldn't acknowledge that or let someone say that about him, but he's the Jack Nicholas, the Michael Jordan of the sport. Absolutely unparalleled by anybody ever. Just super radical, all his turns. Got to give it up. He's the best. You know it. It's really, like the, like the thing that blows my mind is not only his talent, I mean that completely blows my mind, but I don't even think about it because I can't, you know, I can't really comprehend it, but his passion for surfing is the thing that blows my mind. He's always like trying different equipment and trying to do new things, and that's what's really inspiring for me, is not only the way he surfs, or, but, you know, like his passion, what he thinks about surfing. It's amazing that he can have no one to look to really for, you know, an influence anymore because he is far and away the best surfer in the world. So it's hard for him to look and go, God, what's Kelly doing? Because he is Kelly. <laughs> I mean, like, just as a person, he's so fun to hang out with. He's funny and super creative and energetic and motivated and really, really patient person. And with this result, is now
Chopa? Oh my gosh, that place is just, I don't know. Something out of dream world for me. It's my backhand, because I like grabbing rail a lot. And that way, you can kind of just tune into your grabbing rail. You can start, you can't get too cocky out there, because I already tried and I got stitches to prove. Now that place will smack you down. You can't really play with it too much, but man, it's an intense ride. Good waves. That place goes off. There's just so much culture there, and the surfing's just so rad. They're into water sports there, and everything in the water there's rad. And just the whole vibe on their surfing's just super insane. It was so heavy, but it was so beautiful. It was just so blue and oh, it was awesome. It was, the, it was the true meaning of awesome. I mean, you say, people say all the time, oh, awesome, man, awesome, dude. I mean, but that really was awesome. You know? And uh, that day was just incredible because it, it was just one peeler after another peeler. In some ways, you just looked and you could see so far deep in the barrel. And all the time I watched him, I thought, well, okay, how deep could you really take off? And what if you, some, what if God held the, the uh, the nose of your board with a little string and let you ride as deep as you possibly could ride and then whenever you got in trouble he gave you a little pull and pulled you through and pulled you through. I, uh, I couldn't stop thinking about how deep you could ride out there. If you just kept pulling up higher and higher and you could ride in that really tough spot to ride, that spot where you're, where you're, you're high enough to miss the, the turbulence of the low and of below and, and yet you're not so high that you get uh, pitched.
it really probably started on Monday, Monday the 26th. The storm appeared on the maps. It was intensifying. And we just had a really good day of toe surfing at Backyards. That one large wave was so much larger than anything I rode that, the rest of that day. And the waves I rode the rest of the day were the largest waves I've ever ridden. And I've been surfing for 25 years on the North Shore. And I've surfed every closeout swell I could at Waimea. And I've surfed every day at, on the outer reefs that I could. And I think you could easily call that the biggest wave ever ridden on the North Shore. The speed in which ways of that magnitude travel is the thing I can't describe enough. Normally we, we ride waves that are between you know, 26 and 28 miles an hour. That's how fast it travels the ocean at that size. Because what we do is we, you know, we come in with a swell and we're going you know, 30 miles an hour, 35 miles an hour and then we slow down as the wave gets there, we slow down so the rider can pick his position. So we're going like 28 about the time he lets go. The wave slows down further as it hits the reef. This day it 
It might have slowed down to 30 when it hit the reef. It was that much faster. Just like 